the Blom and Voss concern of Germany has been remembered primarily as a shipbuilder but it also provided many of the more unorthodox aircraft submissions to appear during World War II, 1939-1945. One of its concepts was for a fighter design with work undertaken by Dr. Richard Vogt, his name eventually attached to a long list of aircraft for B&V running a gamut of transports, flying boats, interceptors, and fighters. For the BVE 607, Project 607, design study, he elected for a flying wing approach based around a turbojet powered delta wing airframe. The engine was to be two X Heinkel Hearth E011 turbojets developing 2,866 pounds of thrust each. The crew of one was seated, offset to port side at amidships, within the flat body of the aircraft. This placement allowed the center starboard areas to house the large turbojet installations and promote a better balanced, aerodynamically refined final product. The only vertical surface as used was a small fin at the tail for control and stability while elevation controlling was through two small canards fitted at the front of the design, these straddling the sole intake port making up the nose. While the undercarriage would be wheeled and retractable, it was to rely on an unconventional tail dragger arrangement which featured two full-length main legs and two short tailwheel legs for four legs in all, a strange feature for any aircraft then nor since. Armament was to center around 3 by 30 mm MK-108 series cannons and these were to be mounted in the nose. At any rate, the BV-607 spent its days as nothing more than a paper airplane project for the company as no mock-up or prototypes were ever realized. The design fell to military aviation history obscurity by the end, joining many other B&V projects that had appeared during the war. Any performance specifications attached to the aircraft were estimates. Some published dimensions included a wingspan of 8 meters and a length of 7.1 meters.